Hello, welcome to LeafMap tutorial 51. In this video, I'm going to show you how to clip an image. Uh, basically, how to extract an image by a mask. Uh, the mask can be a polygon, can be a coordinate, can be an extend, whatever extend yet you want to uh, specify. So first, let's go to uh, the website to download the notebook example. So leafmap.org and then on the left side, notebooks, uh, press Ctrl N on your keyboard. And then scroll down to find number 51, uh, clip image. And then just uh, double uh, click the icon, upper right corner. Download this one to your computer. And then uh, use uh, Open Anaconda prompt or your um, uh, terminal. And just Conda activate uh, Geo. Then type Jupyter Lab, enter. So uh, this is a very, a very common uh, GS operation. Sometimes you have an image and it's too big for your study area and you want to clip an image so here i'm going to provide you with that how you can create a uh, clip the image uh, very easily using uh, live map so first uh, let's import the library and so here we're going to uh, download the sample data so the sample data is from this uh, uh, google uh, share um, url you, if you want you can copy and paste you can take a look here and um, this is a, a srtm a dm and if you want, you can upper right corner here to download this one uh, to your computer. So, um, and the output file name, I'm going to use uh, dm.tv. So just specify. And after that, you can use the lead map function download file, as in the URL, and the output file name that you want. Okay, shift enter. So it's going to automatically uh, download the file to your computer uh, in your working under your working directory. So it's very convenient. Just refresh. Take a look. So now the DM uh, is um, under your download stri uh, under your working directory. So after that, uh, we can create an interactive map to look at the data. So uh, map provide a function for you to uh, add uh, a, a geotiff to your to the interactive map. So we create a map and then use the function add uh, geotiff. So let me just execute. So you should be able to see the result. Uh, this one uh, use the uh, local Thai server package so it, it supports uh, Windows, Mac and also uh, Linux so you can take a look right automatically it's going to uh, zoom in to the area of the map right so you don't need to specify the location just create a map and then just add GeoTiff you can press uh, shift tab to bring up the helper documentation so we need the data source uh, if you have multiple bands, you can specify the band. If there's one single band, you can specify the palette. And you can also specify the minimum, maximum, how you want to visualize that. You can also specify the layer name, right? So that's it. And basically, upper right corner here, click the icon and then click this one. Right? So you can turn the data layer on and off. Go to the left, the right. So this one changes the uh, opacity so this is how you can um, add a local raster data set to the map so the next step what we are trying to do here is actually to clip the image right so you can actually for example uh, we're going to use the basically there are three ways you can clip right you can specify a polygon for example if you um, if you have if you already have a polygon uh, as a swap file or geojson you can directly um use the, the vector data if you want um or you can directly specify a list of coordinates so basically here uh the longitude latitude right so this is just one point and second point so or the last point is the same so basically the, the ending point is the same as the starting point uh or you can uh, just use the map to user ROI. So for example, here I can show you, right? I simply, let's say I just want this area, right? Usual rectangle, that's it. And then from here, you can, so the mask here, it can be this one, right? So uh, mask user ROI. So if you want, I can just uh, hold enter and then just type mask. It's going to show you here. This is a feature. This is a polygon, and these are all the points. Right? So it's basically all the points are stored in this uh, 
property and then you can use this one as a mask for right? so for example um you can also specify what the output file name right so clip dot tiff and that's it so after that just simply run this one so div map dot clip image so we are going to click here and going to use the uh the user i r i that we just draw and this is the output file name so shift enter take a look refresh so now we have this clip uh dot tiff right and again we can add the data back to the um to the map so again add geotiff so this is the new file name right clip dot tiff and we're going to use a different palette so that we can see the difference and this is the layer name so hit enter and go back here right so take a look now we have the dm right uh has been clipped uh to this area right so if you want you can remove the, the polygon so now we take a look so this is the uh the image that has been clipped you can take a look at the original dm right so very simple so you can uh you can be a polygon you can be like so for example I can draw it here then uh, you'll be the same if it's still the user dot ally and so now this one has a couple more points right similarly on this one and take a look did i refresh Or maybe I need to uh, change the output file name. So again, so mask, and then from here they save this one to clip two, and then clip the em, and we can add this one back to the data. Okay, so now we have this one here. Although the background is a uh, red color, but uh, it's the one that we use right here. Here, the are the polygon if you want. This is how you can uh, clip an image just using a few lines of code. You can draw a rectangle or draw a polygon, or you can use the directly specify the a list of coordinates. Or if you have, for example, a polygon, a geojson or a swap file, you can do that as well. So I'm going to show you here for the last one here. So this is a, actually a geojson, right? So I can execute this one you can actually add the geojson to the map if you want so so you here let me remove this one here at the original dm right and i'm going to add the geojson to the map so m dot add geojson and then just simply pass the mask right so the mask right now is an http uil to the data then hit enter take a look so now we have this polygon right so this is just a uh, uh, polygon uh, that we just added to the map so we're going to use this polygon uh, as the mask to extract the image so again come back to here what we need to do here i can change this one for example clip number three and then everything else uh, remain the same okay uh file does not this Okay, so basically it doesn't support uh, the file URL. So let me just uh, maybe copy this one. Or you can use the download file to download this one to your computer. Save as mask geojson, right? And then, so what I need to do here is simply to, right now the mask is mask of geojson, right? Shift enter. And then uh, the output. Okay, so this is clip number three. Take a look. Right. That's it. So we have we use the uh the geojson. So we just need to download the geojson to the computer. And uh, probably I can improve it that you can directly use the uh your URL so we are having to uh, download the data. Okay, so that's it. So I hope you find it useful and I hope to see you in the next uh, video. Take care.